What's up guys, so in one of my previous videos I did an unboxing for the Archeria Keylab 49 Essential Keyboard. Now I wanted to do a little tutorial and a little bit of a showcase of this keyboard because again this channel is more for the beginner intermediate producer and I'm always trying to help you guys out even when it comes from you know production techniques to what sort of equipment you should get, how you should be kitting out your studio and this is a keyboard that I highly recommend that's on a budget but does so many different things which can help elevate your efficiency as a producer as well as also like take your equipment maybe to the next level now I said this keyboard right here that I've got in front of me which I've again I did in my unboxing video I paid £185 for and it's just loads of cool features which I'm going to demonstrate in this video for you how it works or to show you what it's like in Logic as well as the Analog Lab 4 software that it comes with to see if this is something that will be good for you as a producer maybe you've just got a cheap little midi keyboard or like me i used to have a adasis v25 uh, 25 key keyboard and i wanted to upgrade and i feel like this was a really good upgrade so yeah i'm gonna be running through the features right now in this video so hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel and let's dive into this video okay so we are currently looking down the keyboard this is the keyboard plugged straight into logic pro x now there's a couple different features i want to show you on the keyboard which could run through which is why i've also got logic loaded up on the screen here and i'm gonna try and swap between the two so you can see how this operates but the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you how to properly link this into logic because it does take a little bit of step if you want to integrate properly to use the daw user settings so on your mac when it comes to logic when you want to put in a uh, new software instruments we need to first register it so we need to go to control services and we need to go to setup so when you've got this setup window open you want to click new and it'll bring up this window then you want to search for the mackie control so if you type in mackie And then you'll want to click on this one right here. And then if you add it, then that is Logic's way of knowing that this is the sort of keyboard that's programmed in. And you'll be able to use the full DAW control settings on the keyboard. So with that out of the way, let's start using this keyboard in Logic. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you on the keyboard in Logic is the DA. W command center in this top corner here. This is a very cool uh, thing that reminds me of the old Presonus fade port that I used to own and you could buy to control your DAW from some sort of outboard gear. Now to initiate the DAW mode you need to go over to map select and then when you're on map select you need to make sure it is on to DAW and then you've got analog lab which is external from the door but DAW sets the DAW preset which actually already comes integrated on this keyboard when you buy it so you don't have to do too much adjusting and it will come up with the preset now the really cool thing is now this will completely be functional in logic so if you quickly look into logic you will see for example you this little knob here we can now control that in logic so we can scroll through our production as you can see the record button works to record as well as the stop and the play and um, you can also use this well to move around as well as enable loop which is really cool that's very handy and not only that one thing I love about this is say if I was to record something quickly there you go and you didn't like it you can hit undo and get rid of that so this is a really good way to save time and as well as the punch setting and one of the most amazing things for any of you out there who have a very bad habit and not saving work you can save your project just by hitting the save button and then it will come up there how cool is that another thing that's amazing about this daw is well you can control your channels here so i've got it set so you can control your tracks so if you look at tracks one to four on here you can see um that i can control the volume of the tracks as well as the panning as well just from here which is really good for mixing in as you go I don't think I use these settings a lot you can also integrate these to control simps as well which is really cool but more importantly thing I tend to use because I have my keyboard slanted away it's just to tend to use the stop start record and the undo because then you can record multiple takes of MIDI on a channel and it just makes it really easy and, and it's just so good for efficiency and like productivity when working Obviously, every keyboard, you've got your standard pitch and modulation on the side here, as well as we have a nice drum pad. Now, we're going to see quickly how good this drum pad is. So we're going to quickly get up a drum machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start tapping and you can get an idea of how good the velocity is in here. So let's see. So you can see like the sensitivity is okay. I was tapping it three different like it's if you just tap on top as you see like that it's not going to do it. So you do have to put a little bit of force into it but you can definitely like. So 
So you can definitely like sample in. So for drums and stuff, it's perfect. So like, like it's good. It feels good. Like there's a little bit of space there, so you don't have to worry about accidentally tapping uh, different ones. But yeah, again, overall, pad it's a good. Like I think the pad's definitely okay, and it will do the job. Uh, so overall, yeah, that gets a thumbs up from me. The little thing flashing here in the corner is the octave, because though you have 49 keys, sometimes you will want to access the lower and higher keys. So again, when you tap this, it takes the whole keys down an octave. So now we're going to look at Analog Labs. Now this is the software which comes with the Archeria and it, as you can see it integrates into Logic so you can now get loads of preset sounds like synths, pads, organs and keys and drums and so when you go into it it's something that's actually very easy to use. So when we look at it it's very well laid out and easy to use. Uh, if you want to say for example let's search for some synth brass. So we'll go on synth, we'll go on brass and it starts to bring up some different brass Sounds, and as you see, there's a massive bank of different sounds we can go for, and we can even mix up even more for the style. So let's say we want to go for a dark sound. It brings up some different ones, and the, what I love about this is because it gives you the chance to experiment, try some different sounds out. Like, you, you do have to sort of play around some sounds, but let's just see what this sounds like. <laughs> these are presets but they can be adjusted because we've got all the different uh, settings down here so we can adjust stuff let's say if you want to adjust the cutoff we can create a completely different sound off it so if we went to another one we've got some different piano sounds so if we unselect everything here let's see what sort of piano sounds we can get to come up let's say we want to go for a grand piano let's see what this one sounds like Sounds pretty good for a piano, especially if you're someone who, for example, doesn't have Logic Pro X or you maybe got Pro Tools and it doesn't come with any sort of software instrument at all, then this is quite a nice bank. It's got you some stuff to get started. Obviously, like the only thing I'd say about it is you do have to do a little bit of searching about, but sometimes I think that is the best way to be when you're doing this sort of thing because like it gives you a chance to then like try different sounds out and try and find something unique and different so every time you go into this lab you're finding something completely different and i quite like that so you know for a free software this is absolutely incredible that you get this with the keyboard so yeah guys my thoughts on this keyboard especially after using it for a couple of days now i really do enjoy using it. i love the daw command center on it it's really good for recording midi in and like just quickly undoing something i've done and recording again i do like it and i have been using that feature sometimes you find that features on a keyboard though they're cool at the time you stop using them but this one i definitely feel like i'm gonna use a lot and i also do think as well the keyboard the touch sensitivity is very good again as i said in my unboxing video because the keys are slightly weighted it does give you that little bit of sensitivity so when you play stuff like pianos it really can get that real feel in for the piano so it's really good and uh, it's definitely an upgrade on the last keyboard i have as well and also again it's just aesthetically pleasing to look at that nice little fake wooden finish on the side and i've got the white version you can get this in black a limited edition version i believe which looks really nice as well but overall i'm really happy to keyboard and for less than 200 pound i think this is an absolute steal considering what this does as well so yeah guys i will leave a link below if you want to check out this keyboard for yourself i have not been endorsed to this video this is highly just like something i've invested in myself because i like to let you guys know of low budget options to get really good uh, music industry standard equipment and i do think that the arturia key lab essential is something that is of a very high value for money and i definitely think it's something that's worth getting and looking into so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did hit that subscribe as it's the best way to support the channel keep making music and i'll see you in the next video